Howdy all you cowboys, cowgirls, gunfighters, and gamblers. Welcome to another episode of Jedi TV. Things have been moving along quite well with the purchase of our new house, and if you missed the tour of that place, click the link on your screen now to watch that episode. And just to give you a brief update, Jessica and I did make an offer on the house, and it was accepted. Then the house had to have an appraisal, which went just fine, and now, basically, we're just waiting to hear back with the closing date. So it won't be long before we're filming in a whole new location. Of course, all of that means I need to start packing. And that's going to be quite a chore because I've got a lot of stuff. And most of that stuff you can get a brief look at on Jedi TV 2's look at my current room. And I'll put a link to that channel on screen and then a link to the tour down in the description box of this video when I get that posted to our second channel. Now on this week's show, I thought, while I'm packing up this wall of stuff, y'all might like to take a look at a couple of Southern Oregon's fastest shooters in slow motion. My pards Purgatory Smith and Royal Flush are almost always in the top two spots at any local match. And Royal Flush just returned from Winter Range, the National Championship of Cowboy Action Shooting, where he finished 12th place overall out of nearly 700 shooters. And you can feel free to hit the like button on this video and leave him a comment down below congratulating him on a job well done. Now, I've said this before, video is a great tool for learning. You can study your movement and your transitions, and you can get an idea for what is taking time unnecessarily. Whether it's taking too long to get your rifle in your shoulder on target, or whether you're double handling your gun transitions. And by that I mean setting one firearm down with both hands instead of discarding the fired gun and using the other hand to pick up the next firearm in the shooting sequence. Or using that hand to pull shells if your shotgun is next. That sort of thing. And it's not just about watching yourself shoot on video. It's also very beneficial to watch others, especially those in the winner's circle. Whether that's where you'd like to be, or whether you just want to hone your own skills so that you're performing at your very best. Watching folks that do that consistently will help you get where you want to be. So with that said, I'll give you the opportunity to view two of the folks that I've had the pleasure of studying for years. I'll show you their videos both in slow motion and at regular speed so that you can see how they put all that motion together into a smooth and fast cowboy action shooting stage. So pay close attention to how they shoot the stages. Then let me know down in the comment section what caught your eye. It may be the way they handle their rifles or the way that Purgatory pulls four shells at a time as he moves towards his 1897 shotgun. Or maybe it's Royal's transition from one revolver to the next. And you'll definitely notice they both have unique shooting styles. So from that, maybe you can find a technique they use and incorporate it into your shooting style. Whatever you get from watching the clips, I look forward to reading your comments down below.
All right, y'all, thanks for watching. As a bonus to those that made it this far into the episode, I'll close today's show with a look at me shooting a slow motion stage with the Hawkinsville Claim Jumpers. It's always interesting to see how the black powder flame and smoke look when slowed down. Also, I wanna add a quick little note here. With the packing and the moving, it's possible that I may miss an upload or two here on Jedi TV, but you can still keep up to date with me and what's going on by following my Instagram accounts, where I will try to post brief updates and a photo or two of how everything is going. And I'll link all of those accounts down in the description box of this video. Thanks again for watching. I'm Jed. This is uh, What's Left of Jedi TV, and I'll see you in some other place, in some other time. Special thank you to my pards Pinto Annie and Shalico Tucker for the nice gift of this brass loading block. It was waiting for me here at the Oregon house when I returned from one of my trips to Washington. 
you can get your own loading block by contacting the folks at Desperado Cowboy Bullets. I'll leave a link to their website down below, as well as a link to my video review of their loading blocks on screen now. Really, it needs to be that loud. <sighs> Feel free to hit the like button on this video and leave him a congr congratula congratulations. I can say it. So pay close your So from the, the and what's going on by following my Instagram. I'll close the show with a look at clothes. I'm gonna dress the show.